dropping everything over here. We're about to make some tuna salad. I've got some beans, doing a quick soak on the stove top. So I'll be ready to get those started this afternoon for supper. Wow. Big tiger. Ooh, that is a big tiger. That's a mad one. He's pretty mad. Did yeah. Jonah draw his body? Mm-hmm. He did a good job. That one got horse on it. Oh, no, that's his ears. Now we have a shark. What's he eating? Uh, eating pizza. Stop eating fish. It's <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and put some salt and pepper in over here. Go ahead, girl. Y'all have already seen this recipe. We'll link that video down below where we show the... We're just doing a quick lunch thing here. I gotta get back at it. I'm gonna have to go to a farm, look at some cows. You notice I'm doing these carrots very small. That's the best way. That's the best way to chop carrots. It, oh, not carrots. <laughs> Celery. I'm sorry. Is it done? Almost. We just gotta put the onion in there, and I think that's it. Mama, we the strongest. Y'all are the strongest. Uh huh. And we're gonna go in Yum. with our onion. <laughs> okay, I think that's good. I might need a little more salt and pepper. Maybe it goes with peanut butter. We've been calling him Skeeter Bite lately, everybody. I don't know if y'all know why. He's got a little mosquito bite. He's got a little mosquito bite right there on your cheek. I love yeah, I'm, we're happy that our our bloodline carries that. <laughs> now I know somebody out there like that. You know, if you eat standing up, that all that goes straight to you. Legs and feet. That's fine. I'm trying to get it past my stomach. <laughs> That we still have banana bread right here. For Woo! My horse don't like fountain. Right when I step out of the truck, banana bread. <laughs> Little old son. No, he don't like when fall starts getting here. Fall food Friday, buddy. Woo! Fall food Friday. All right, y'all, we got everything cleaned up from lunch. I'm about to organize this refrigerator. Does that sound like fun? Oh, he wants to help, okay. So, we got these refrigerator organizers the other day from Bell's Outlet. Gosh, they don't wanna come apart. Are they taped? How are they? They do not wanna come apart. Let me see if I can get this sticker off. I think Sissy's hiding behind the refrigerator door that we left open. Is she? Yep. <laughs> these do not wanna come apart, y'all. Okay. We put the straws in there to see if we could, you know, get some air in to break up this. Oh, I think I almost got this one. I think so. All right, we'll try to do some water over here and see if we put water. Ow, my fingers are stuck. We just need some pieces of something. Oh, let's try this. So I'm gonna put this there. One, two, three. All right, one, two, three, pull. I'm slipping. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> okay, we're dripping water everywhere from where we tried the water technique. The problem is right here, y'all. These things are so tight. I got it. Okay, maybe these two will be easier here. Don't try this at home. Here we go. All right, so while we've been doing this, Jonah found the dinosaur cookies that we got from Aldi a few weeks ago. So they're gonna put those in the oven. All right, so here's the before. It's mainly these top two shelves. I'm gonna go ahead and start putting some stuff in here like the jellies, this maple bacon onion jam. It's not, you know, we don't use this for breakfast. We use this to put on those burgers the other day. That was amazing, I'm just saying, but I'm gonna put it in the jelly and jam thing because it is a jam. Okay, and then we already have yogurts in this. I'm gonna leave the yogurts in there. There we go, that's much better. So we have jellies, jams, syrup here, yogurts here, all pickled things right here. I got it done before the oven even preheated for the cookies. The little dinosaur cookies don't come with any icing like it shows on the box, so I'm just gonna make them some real quick. I'm just gonna do a little powdered sugar and cream, but we're gonna make it thicker than we normally would so that it'll stay on the cookies. These 
these pterodactyls look like a bat, and it's reminding me of the bat the other night that got in the house. Jonah's got a little sprinkle station set up over here with his. It's time to get the rest of supper going. We're gonna start with the cornbread. Supper. Supper. We got supper. Yeah. Three teaspoons of baking powder. Let me go ahead and whisk all this together real quick. I'm gonna go with half a cup of buttermilk, half a cup of regular milk. There we go. One egg. One egg. One egg, that's right. All right, let me spring my pan and then this is ready to go in the oven. Okay, we got cornbread in the oven, melting some butter here. We're gonna go ahead and put our squash in for squash casserole. I sliced this up yesterday, so I already had it ready to go here. When I get this in here, I'm gonna chop up an onion real quick. I should've went ahead and sliced up the onion and put it in here with the squash yesterday. So it'll just take a few minutes to get the squash and onions tender. We'll get it in the oven and then we'll start the pork chops because they won't take long. What's making over there? We're making uh, beans, cornbread, squash casserole, Woo! casserole. All right, sour cream, salt and pepper, and some cheese. Also Parmesan cheese, but I don't have any, so we're gonna leave that out this time. Now we just crumble some crackers over the top and then it goes in the oven for just about 20 minutes at 350. Okay, for the pork chops, we're just gonna put some flour, a little bit of salt, some pepper. I've got the oil heating up over here in the skillet. I'm gonna turn this oil down a little bit as we can hear it is ready. We're gonna put some eggs and a little bit of milk over here. Dip it in the milk and egg mixture. We dip it in the flour. Double dip here. Or you can single dip, but double dip in here is a little better. These are really big. I'm only gonna be able to do two of those at a time. I can fit a boneless one over here with the bone in. I'm gonna do that real quick. Right in there. there we go. I'm rotating the squash casserole and the cornbread because I'm gonna brown it on top. A little sprinkly out here but we're gonna check out this pepper I've gotten some that size from Walmart before but we'll let it keep growing a few more days mr. pepper We're gonna clean the kitchen. That's right, we have two and a half pork chops left. Beans, squash casserole, some chicken. cornbread. Chicken. Chick he calls the pork chops chicken. <laughs> Can you snap? Ready? One, two, two three, go. 